I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I am presenting you this 60 years old female patient who presented with sudden decrease of vision, pain, redness for the last one week. If you look closely, this lady has 360 degree 10 0 nylon sutures in the cornea. So penetrating full thickness keratoplasty was performed one year back for pseudophagic bullous keratopathy late corneal graft rejection is one of the most common phenomena seen post keratoplasties and it is more common after full thickness keratoplasties than lamellar keratoplasties now if you look closely you can see decimates striations corneal edema marked edema at host graft interface corneal haze so it's endothelial rejection which is the most common and the most severe form of corneal graft rejections it occurs in approximately 50 percent of cases the rest are either mixed or epithelial and subepithelial graft rejections so the prognosis depends upon the presentation of the patient early presentation has good prognosis and the mainstay of the treatment is topical steroids and it can be supplemented with oral steroids 1 milligram per kilogram body weights and if you suspect an element of infection then and topical antibiotics can also be added and sometimes the intraocular pressure is high so IOP lowering drugs are also added so in this patient you can also see there are vessels approaching the cornea so vascularization is one of the bad prognostic factors so in this patient we started Topical prednisolone 1% drops 1 hourly beta blockers twice a day moxifloxacin 4 times oral prednisolone 1 milligram per kilogram and now we will weekly assess this patient that how it responds because the treatment can be given for up more than 8 weeks corneal graft rejection is basically a rare phenomena it's not a common phenomena because cornea is immunologically privileged organ it has got no blood vessels it is avascular absence of lymphatics that prevents the delivery of antigens to the T cells low major histo compatibility complex antigen expression now other important question is the difference between graft rejection and failure diagnosis of rejection can only be made in grafts that have survived or remained clear for at least two weeks rejection is defined as immune reaction of the host against donor tissue graft failure is a broad term it includes rejection as well as infection and primary donor failure and the incidence of rejection is greatest in the first year post transplant so that was all about the corneal graft rejection thank you very much